Okay, welcome to Know Your Planet. Uh, so you're gonna pick a planet. I'm gonna pick Jupiter just for easy sakes. And the front side is really straightforward. You're just gonna search the internet for this stuff. Uh, this is all pretty self-explanatory. I'm not worried about it, but let's look at the back. So now what we're gonna do is pretend. What if we had a sun that was 120 inches in diameter or 10 feet in diameter? And let's say we just happen to place that in Muir's library. We wanna know how big would your planet be compared to a 10 foot sun? And where would it be? How far away would it be? So to help us with that, we're gonna to go to this other website that I labeled for you. And in the diameter of the sun box, we're gonna put 120 inches, right? 10 feet. I'm gonna hit calculate. And this gives me all the info I need about where my planet would be and how big it would be compared to the sun if the sun was only 10 feet in diameter. I have Jupiter, so it's gonna tell me that in diameter, my object is my planet is only gonna be 12 inches across, or so 12 inches in diameter. So what I ask you to do then is find a sports ball that is about that size. I'm not sure if it'd be a volleyball or if a, or if a basketball is that big. I don't know, Google it kids, find a sports ball that what is the size of your planet, in my case 12 inches because I did Jupiter. Once I have that planet, right, my Jupiter now is the size of, a, I'm saying basketball, I'm not sure if that's right, I need to place it somewhere on a Google map to show how far away it would be from our 10 foot sun. So if I come to Mirror and I zoom in on the library and I right click on the library, I should get this last box as measured distance. So I hit measure distance. I'm only on Google Maps, by the way. I'm not on Google Earth or anything on Google Maps. You have to hit satellite version so you can get the satellite view. But I can hit measure distance, and now I click anywhere, and look at that, I get this uh, uh, distance of 100 meters. Now how far do I need to go? Let me go back here. I've gotta go 1,700 meters away, or 1.7 kilometers away. So I have a long ways to go. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna drag my thing. It's important you drag it. Don't click it in a new spot. You have to drag it each time. And let's see, now I am, this box tells me 748 meters away. Let's keep going. I'll go to, uh, I don't know, what's down here? It looks like Johnson's parking lot. I'm 1.59 kilometers away. I'm getting closer. Let's see if I keep going. What if I drag it all the way to Taco Bell? Taco Bell is gonna put me at 1.79, that's pretty close. What if we put it in the front of Taco Bell? 1.77, right about there. So Taco Bell is about how far away my basketball Jupiter would be compared to my 10 foot sun at Muir. I hope that makes sense. Try to pick a place when you plot your planet that, that maybe everyone knows, a location we're familiar with. And so again, if there was a 10 foot sun in the library, then now I know that Jupiter would be the size of a basketball, I'm guessing, and it would be at Taco Bell. That's what I'll be filling out down here in my uh, Know Your Planet thing. Again, you're gonna just fill this in on the computer. I hope this makes sense. If you're not able to finish this during class, then obviously it's a little bit of a homework assignment. Hope that makes sense to you. Good luck.